try! Boys, how are you feeling after a like, uh, successful travel? I'm pretty tired. Yeah? Yeah. But uh, no, it's, it's good. good to get nine, nine points on the road. It's uh, one of the toughest trips we've, we've had in the past few years. Uh, definitely since my time here, so to come over with three years is pretty special. Yeah, I was, I, I was going to say it was my first tour, so I was pretty happy to you know, get two from two on my first trip. So I said, but yeah, I was pretty happy with the result of the two games on tour. So obviously, yeah. selection last night in the Wallaby squad, I mean, it was a, a surprise or were you expecting it? Well, I think everyone was jamming me up for a while saying that I was going to be in it, so I think it was a bit of a relief to finally say that I was in it, because it would have been a bit embarrassing if I... If I didn't get there, so it's definitely a relief to, to be named in the squad last night. Yeah. And I guess there is a bit of competition here, Kenny, you back, so what chance do you give yourself for playing in either of those three test matches? Uh, I'd like to see myself in, in a bench, possibly, in one of the three. Hopefully I get a run sometime, and I suppose just getting into camp and see how I train and see how you know the combinations work, I suppose. And you've benefited by Thomas Cabelli being out, haven't you? Sort of more game time and a chance to show your wares to a certain degree. Yeah, I definitely think, you know, if, if Thomas wasn't injured at the start of the year, I don't think there was any chance that I would have been in this squad. So, you know, like, cause obviously Jake Gordon's been playing really well, and I think, you know, he obviously would have got the jump on me, you know, hadn't, hadn't I been starting the, you know, the games this year. Has Michael Checker spoken to you and he said, listen, this is what we expect from you going into camp? No, nah, I haven't, haven't heard from Check in a while, so it'll be good to catch up with him next week. The nerves, I guess, are they're a little less nerves this time, knowing you've been in camp before and yeah, definitely. I think, you know, I was there last year. I was definitely pretty nervous going there last year. But, you know, I know all the boys from the previous camps. So, you know, it's uh, definitely be a better experience this time. And, you know, more of a, you know, focusing on the rugby as, as opposed to just, you know, finding my way through it. So now that you, you're back after the tour, is the World Cup front of mind for you? Oh, no, not really at all. I wouldn't even say that this, this next camp is front of mind. You know, I think the game... Getting through this weekend's game against the Rebels is probably front of mine, and then you know working through till the you know the June series. Joe, how do you feel like you've developed over the sort of the past twelve months since you got that shot call up into the squad? Uh, I think just the you know training now for two years full time has really helped me. I think you know I've come a, a long way as far as you know playing a heap more minutes. You know a bit more experience now. It's under my belt, so I think just a bit more confidence on the field and that kind of thing. I know you said um, you have for a bench spot, but you don't feel like you can challenge. Will for a number nine jersey? I'd like to say yes, but I think Will's pretty cemented in there, so I don't think that's a, you know realistic, but you know, you know, I'll try my best and see how we go. I know you got asked about the World Cup as well, and you say that the focus is this next camp, but realistically, now that you are in a squad like this, do you start to think, well, if I keep my form up, the World Cup is a realistic goal? Well, I definitely think it's a, it's, a, it's a goal for everyone. Realistic, yeah, maybe it's becoming more realistic, but I think I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I haven't played a game for the Wallabies, you know, I've only just started playing for the Brumbies, so I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. The other thing is this could potentially be your last game without Thomas in the Brumbies team. Like, how do you see that combination working? Because he's going to be coming back and pushing you for the starting spot here. Yeah, that'll, that'll definitely be interesting. I haven't put too much thought into that, you know, because that'll be, that'll be one for Bernie to figure out. But, yeah, that'll be good to get Thomas back in the team. Thomas started training with us, you know, while we're on tour in Argentina, so that was good to have him back in around the boys. Last home game of the year as well. Um, how big is that for you guys? especially after the way the Rebels got you down there? Yeah, definitely. I think it's, we're, we're still hurting from the last time the Rebels beat us. I think that was a massive upset and we were pretty disappointed with how we played that game. So I think the, you know, we, we'll be really wanting to get the win this weekend and I think that's a, driving a lot of the boys to improve this week. Um, so with the tour, what do you think changed for the Rumbies to allow you to be so successful? Oh, just I think we were playing, <laughs> we were playing really well previous weeks I think it was just you know a couple of things didn't go our way and we we're happy enough that we, we stayed at it and you know we got the wins and I think we're scoring a few nice tries which is nice to see because we had a bit of a drought there without a couple of tries so that was nice to you know get that off our back. Henry how are you feeling about um, Wallabies and, and being down from that? Um, yeah I was pretty happy, very happy actually. Um, started the year with the focus of Giving my, my all again for Brahms and trying to enjoy my footy. And that's sort of come through. And uh, last night was a bit of fruition of, of, of the hard work, so just yeah, pretty happy. 
do, do you feel like you're back in that sort of top form, uh, the form that you kind of had a couple of years ago, injury free and that sort of thing? Um, <clears throat> so so, uh, I guess uh, the team has been playing well. We've just been unfortunate with a lot of our losses this year, so uh, I can't really say that personal form is. Uh, is, is, is all mine. It's, I think a lot of that has come down to how the team is playing this year and, and the confidence we're, we're showing in each other. Um, like some like young guys like Joey are making their mark, and it's, it's good for some of us to see, and it gives us confidence, so we feel off that as well. Um, Fards was a bit of a surprise omission from that Wallaby squad. Have you spoken to him, or has he said anything to you guys, or the guys that got picked in from Wallaby? No, I'm not sure. No. No. We restart this afternoon, so we're just getting out of bed. Really. Yeah, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> what about um, Hearts getting back in there? Um, it's been a, a pretty big year for him, I guess, taking the captaincy and things like that. And that was one of his goals to try and push back in. Yeah, I guess so. Um, it's so again, it's down to the way he's led the team and how uh, the team has responded to his leadership. And, and the way he's carried himself, and uh, as as most of us are, last last night's inclusion in, in the squad has just been uh, on on the back of a strong uh, a strong uh, season he's had, and, and his leadership has really shown through this year as well. Any other questions? Uh, yes, they have a lot to play. Yeah. They're, they're always dangerous, um, but in saying that, there's. The last time we played them down in Melbourne, they, had, they hadn't won a game and there was a lot of talk on, on which franchises to be cut. There was a lot of emotion, there was uh, a centurion playing for them that weekend. I guess for us it's, it's trying to make sure that we nail this game before going into the June break and, and there'll be a bit of um, emotion for us too. Uh, ben Alexander possibly becoming the most most cut uh, Brumby, so maybe really like to reward him with, with a win because he's, he's, he's deserved it and he's one of the best guys to have around in the squad so um, for us it'll be, it'll be in the back of our minds but um, our main focus is to get a win and, and four points will be good. Okay.